Without any doubt, the best way of monitoring the performance of your curator installation with your host and all the appliance, distributed appliance you may have, or even if it's an all-in-one, is to use the QDI, the Development Deployment in, in, in Intelligence app. Uh, you have plenty of graph and plenty of stuff, and particularly at the end of the graph you see percentage of utilization, memory, this space, etc. But if you don't have this application installed and you want to quickly see how your curator is doing, you can use the top command and this is what I will show you and I learned this tip from Toto how to simply learn how to use the top command to monitor the curator console or any one of the of the host. So I'm SSHing into the if there is a verb for that, I'm doing SSH into the console and here I am. So when I issue the top command and I just started the curator machine uh, shortly uh, five minutes ago as you can see you need to focus only on the top line okay this is what we're going to be doing so i started the system five minutes ago i'm the only user the important thing is this this is the load average now 15 minutes ago and 15 uh, five minutes ago and 15 minutes ago sorry so now five and 15 which in this case it hasn't been even up for 15 minutes. Now, you'll see this evolve since Curator is coming up. It's going to be using a ton of CPU. This machine has 12 cores allocated to it. Let me actually uh, show you that. Now, if we go here, we can see that it has 12 cores, right? Now, are those enough or not? Well, we're going to see. So. I'm going to be uh, pausing the video, so we see the utilization here. This is going to spike way up, probably it can even get, believe it or not, to 90, and you only have 12. So whenever you have here this number right now, something that is larger than your number of cores, so, so now it's 6, I have 12, so I'm about half of it, of the capacity, and you see that train staying on the last five minutes in the last 15 minutes uh, if those numbers are above 12 then the system is not going to be able to catch up like right now you know it's just, it's just spiking uh, and then again uh, that's that's normal if you were to log in into the system and you get uh, access to the console it will be very unresponsive for obvious reasons so pausing the video until we get around 10 12 minutes and see how this has evolved we are at minute 11, and notice that this is really climbing up. Pausing the video again. We have still minute 12, you know, this is uh, climbing and climbing, and the HTTP server is up, and you can actually log in in here, but uh, the response that you are going to get is going to be very bad, because, you know, you have far more capacity. So this is going to, you know, take a while to even respond to that. Notice, 12 cores and we are 75. So whenever this number is uh, goes above the number of cores you have, your response is going to be terrible. You have a problem. You need to allocate more resources if this thing stays constantly or the, because if these two parameters are above 12, then there's no hopes that the system is going to catch up with all the load. Uh, so, But this is just as curator is coming up so this is uh, normal and we'll see how this evolves uh, let's uh, wait until we get about uh, 16 minutes or so and give you an update we're approaching minute 14 again CPU is, is way above the normal capacity and this is a clear sign that not only the this takes a long time of rendering this is very snappy when it's ready. But notice that also I don't have all the, my apps. Normally I have a couple of apps that they, they would show up. When the system is uh, way too busy, those apps are not even ready. So they will not be dis uh, displaying here. So pausing the video until we go a little further down. So we are approaching, we are at the 20 minutes mark and notice that we are slightly above the 12. Of course that we have now is beginning to go, you know, lower than that. Still the system is uh, 
very very busy but this is the trend that you actually want to see and now you, you should have you know kind of a little better console in fact if we try to uh, reload the page notice that the apps now show up and the system is beginning to be as snappy as it uh, normally should be now we are below the uh, the 12 core so system is definitely catching up let's do a final update around 23 25 minutes when we see this uh, being stable uh, at this point, we system is, is actually very, uh, very comfortable. And don't forget that you can do the same with any other curator appliance. Uh, if I SSH into my, uh, sorry, root at 172.16.60.2, uh, I believe it is 58, my app host. Uh, because I'm SSHing from the console, I don't need to put the password. And if I issue the top command here, we see this uh, similar thing, right? Well, actually, my app host is pretty busy. Still, some of these apps, I have plenty of apps. Let me actually show you. Uh, not only the ones that I have here on the tab, because I put a star on them, as you see here, but I have even couple of apps and those things are initializing and we actually can see that on the app host that the app host is above the normal cores that it has. let me see how many cores do I have on the uh, on the app host I am sure I don't have 12 but let's see well I do have 12 so it, it, it's actually above the 12 but this is this is going to be trending uh, below once all those apps are fully initialized. I'm pretty sure that if we go for example here on the use case manager app it may not be fully ready maybe still updating some of the... No, uh, it seems to be... well you see it's still doing some some updates and, and we see that reflected in the usage of the app host. Minute 25 and this is actually decreasing and we see that you know the apps are, are kind of ready so Again, best way of doing this, if you have QDI, it's a lot simpler. You don't have QDI, this is a Pushman, I wouldn't say, not even Pushman QDI, QDI does far more than this, but this is a quick way that I learned from Polo a while back on how to make sure that your uh, CPUs and the number of cores that you have allocated are enough for your environment.